key component to the success of a rider on race day is understanding and getting the right setup of the bike. And one of the major factors at any kind of racetrack is simply tyre selection. And we've been lucky enough to head over to Todd Waters Bike here and look at some of the Maxxis options that they have leading into today. And as you can see right here on the bike straight up, this is the tyre of choice for one thaggy. It's a sand tyre. There's a lot of space between these knobs. It's a very rounded tyre. It allows a lot of sand to get in between these knobs to get maximum grip on that sand. If you had a, a hard pack tyre on that kind of condition, it would just simply spin up everywhere. So sand tyre, really wide gap between the knobs. And then we move across to the next option, which is where we're probably going to see the riders start this weekend at Horsham. And it is a soft terrain tyre. Now the difference between these, if I just roll this one out here, it's got a little bit of space between these knobs, but you can see so much more rubber on these knobs are a fatter knob. It's still got that round profile to dig into the ground, but allows a lot of that dirt still to get between those knobs and allow a lot of drive. A lot more uh, knobs on the side of the tire as well to benefit going around the corners where you might go between some softer surfaces and a little bit more of a hard pack. But that's not where it ends here in Horsham for these riders because the surface itself, it is quite hard underneath and that's probably where we're going to see the track end up over the day. As it dries out, we'll get more and more hard pack conditions and it's quite possible that the riders may even go to this particular tyre here. Again, a lot more rubber is going to be touching the ground. These knobs, very beefy, still got that space in between the uh, the knobs themselves to allow a little bit of dirt but it's more about getting the rubber down to the ground a flatter profile as well across the top of this tire and even more closer knobs on the side so they are trying to get maximum traction onto that very hard condition it's something that these riders are going to have to think about all day long there's always changing conditions in motocross and if you can't get that power down to the ground on these bikes you might as well just throw your day away